Hello, herpers, herpetologists, and everyone else. Um, today we're going to be talking about the green iguana. This is the red phase. He's probably about four and a half feet, somewhere in there, maybe almost five. Um, iguanas typically have a pretty bad rep because a lot of people get them when they're really tiny, cute green lizards and they think they can just throw them in a little tank and put a little heat light over them and they're good to go. Well, they end up becoming super aggressive and tail whipping, basically just a big scary lizard. Um, not to mention they're an invasive species in South Florida and you can't have any fruit trees, exotic plants, they'll destroy it all. They'll eat everything every little piece till there's nothing left but if you give this animal the proper diet lighting environment enough space um, they could they could be a pretty cool pet and um, you have to respect them they'll let you know if they're not comfortable around you you have to build their trust over time. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, this one is still a little bit skeptical of humans, but this is my girlfriend's iguana, and she got this guy. Um, Charizard is, is his name. She got him probably three years ago or so. So we haven't had a whole lot of time. He's handleable. Um, you could pet them usually, but it's kind of winter time, and um, most reptiles seem to be a little more off-putting when when the, it's cold and they're uncomfortable. So we're just giving him a little soak. Um, but again, this is Charizard, and I hope everybody enjoyed looking at this amazing animal and. Um, I'm going to sign out. It's Nate's Nature Notes.